Hi guys, Gary here. Um, just a quick video for Jose, really. Uh, well, everybody else wants to watch this. I'm just going to show you, Jose, how I use this shaping plate of Gerald's. Number one, when you're doing it, when you're using the plate, I put it on something rubber or, or a towel because I don't know if you can see there, I did it the other day and I scratched this work surface. It's at the back of my shop. If I'd done that at home, my missus would have killed me. So I put it on my rubber mat this time. Now, this is the plate. Um, and you've got the short axis going this way. Gerard wrote on this for me. So nine times eleven sandpaper goes here for bevel setting and thinning stone slings versus plate nine inch. So we've got the nine inch part here. And to get that shape, which it was like that originally flat, you put it on your sandpaper, you pencil, you pencil the edge like you would when you was lapping a normal flat home. I'm going to lap this again because it's got a bit grimy, a bit swarfed up from the last video. So basically, yeah, I'm going to use a 60 grit. This is what I would, this is what I did, and to achieve this shape, it took me about an hour and a half on 60 grit. So basically, short axis. I'm going to show you exactly what direction that I went in. So there we go. We've got the 60 grit wet and dry. Pop this on there. I've used this one already. So, so right. So you get your stone, and it really is this simple, Jose. You pop your stone on there, and you are up and down on the nine nine inch width here. See that way is eleven inch. This way is nine inch. And this is what gives you that real curve to the shape of this. Now, bearing in mind, let's imagine that was flat. This is what I would. This is what I'd do. And then it starts to take shape here, and it works its way in gradually. And this is all you do. You just rub, keeping the hone as straight as you can, and you just go up and down like so. This is what this is what Gerald does. Well, this is what Gerald told me. It's worked anyway. And you're just shaping the stone to that plate on the 60 grit. And you keep this as straight as you can. You can go this way if you want to as well, keeping it straight long. So you're using the nine inch width. And you just do that until the pencil mark's gone. It took me about an hour to an hour and a half on 60 on this 3K, um, on this 3K. One sec. Sorry, I thought, I thought that was a customer. Just doing this in the dinner break. Right? And there you go. And you'll get that shape. Obviously, that's how it started out flat, flat there. And then there's your wheel. That's, that's, it's, a, it's really that easy. Nice surface, 3K down in with Pro. You could use your 1K or 3K. And that's that, and there's your wheel shape. And then what I'd do, I'd change that sandpaper for a 320 or something like that. And then we just, just to make the surface a little bit smoother. And what I'd use is, I'd use this 320 so obviously after a honing session you're going to need to clean your swarf off and I've just used um, 220 or 320 just to keep the just to keep you know, just to clean the swarf off basically after you've honed the razor or you could just get some sandpaper and rub it over for, over but to keep the shape same shape and uh, that is it that is all you've got to do James there when you get your plate it's all you've got to do. It's really not that hard to do. And the beauty of this is you've got that side for your thinning of the bevel now. And if you did ever want to go back to flat, let's just say, you've still got your flat side. So you're not losing. You've got flat side and a bevel side, convex side. That's that one. Done. Reach your sandpaper. 
This is some paper. Right now, what we're going to do, we're going to do the 8K. Mark it like so. And just rinse that off. And we're going to use the longer access, which is less convex. If you look in there, you can see you've just got a slight convex edge and that side's flat. So you can still have a flat side. Uh, but it, it's, I've already, it's already took the shape, but I'm just showing you what I did. So yeah, you were using the long, the longer axis now, and this is how I did this. Started off on the 60 degree. I'm not gonna start off on that because I don't need to, but you will have to, to put the shape in there for the very first time. So you do that with the 60. I'm just going to go on to the 320 because I need to clean this up anyway. So for the purpose of the video. So basically you would do this with a 60 until you get the pencil grid off and then finish on the smoother. And you start off, well I started off in the middle. And just nice and straight on the long axis. So you can side to side. Oops. And this is all you get it. This is all you do. You could even do this in the sink if you wanted to run the tap on it. clean surface now, no swarf, ready for its next honing. And that is all you'd have to do to maintain that clean surface. It's just like what you do with your flat homes really, but you're doing it with your shape cone. And that is all I did on two stones. You go from two hours work and a bit of sandpaper and play it. And like I say, if you wanted a flat side on your 8K, there's your flat side. Nice chunky stone on these Nortons. Nice and soft and they do take shape really easy. Not like the arcs and stuff, they rock hard. You probably need a lot stronger sandpaper. Well, I hope that's how it helps you, Jose, and the rest of you guys. But that's exactly what I did. I'm sure I must have done it right because it's uh, been very successful. And that's all I'll do now. So thanks for watching that. Next video, I'll actually hone a razor. Convex, con well, I'll be honing my next razor and I'll be demonstrating how I do that. So I'll catch you later. Have a nice day. Bye.